I'm the fighting man, I'm the screaming man, I'm the heathen man, I'm the bleeding man, I'm a guinea man. Watch me lose. So, uh, welcome back to another Rage and Review episode. And today we're playing Out Zone. This is a uh, an overhead shooter by Toll Plan. And uh, hasn't been ported to many other consoles or any that I know of. It's, it's gonna... European only, I think. I don't even think it's European Yeah, it only. says for playing Europe only. Oh, really? In the arcade? Yeah. I know it's going to come out for the Astro City Mini V. It'll be ported to that one. But I think that's the only port it's going to have. Anyway, without further ado, let's start the game, shall we? Mission, are you ready? Destroy I'm ready. all of them. Good luck. Fuck my ass. No thanks, Paul. <laughs> There's a reason why I said that, folks. Oh, because he got really reamed last night, and now he's coming back for more. Yeah. I mean, read it in what way? He didn't want to take the yes. day fucking reamed, but now that he has, he's craving it. No, get out of here. Well, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> uh, we streamed this. We, we just did a video. We played through it. And uh, we went to review the video, and of course, it didn't record. So here we go. For a second time for this alcohol. <laughs> and our fingers are already tired, because this game involves a lot of mashing. So, here you go. I'll tell you. The special weapon that blue players got right now, you don't have to worry about, you know, the automatically firing up. You don't have to worry about changing position of the gun. Which is a pro, which is a positive no. thing. A negative. When you're in those hallways, it's not a positive. Negative, right. When you're in the tight hallways, it's not a positive. So, but overall, it's a good weapon to have. Do you use energy fast when you do it? Um. I don't know. No, that doesn't look like it. You know, last playthrough, my play was spectacular. I dropped maybe two lives the whole attempt. Bullshit. And now I don't know if I can replicate that performance. So there might be some, some death. See? Such as that one. So don't, don't buy it. Trust the daddy. Where the fuck am I? Am I? I'm not even playing? Yeah, you are. I wasn't even moving the camera. I don't know. Well, I'm still reeling from losing the friggin' place. Alright, stage one clear. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah, exactly. That was weird. I was ready for that. You're ready. Again, maybe. Take my energy. Blow them all up. No, I, I'm really. I'm. Nice. All right. Cool music. Yeah. What fun things is it? All right. It's not meant to be, you know, dramatic. <laughs> I don't, wouldn't see that working. Oh, Maybe Johnny C. Bad would work here. Ah, Wow. Dude, that's a cool fucking one. Let me go first. 
<laughs> the more you covet it, the more you shall surely lose it. Let's go. Hey, one thing we should address that we kept talking about in the previous, ah. uh, previous play was your sprites don't overlap, so you, you're constantly trying to push each other out of the way in these tight corridors, and one of you often is just becoming the body shield. Which is funny. But aggravating if you're going for a mm. if you're going for a no death run, which we were so close to achieving last time. I'm so bitter. Oh, parabolic nexus. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Eat that parabola. Look at this. You a DNA? Arshwach, the fuck. Alright. Climb through his vaginal crevasse. Oh. Feel the pleasure as you travel. Oh. 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 Come on, see how you gotta like wiggle into the position and if you know how to jiggle in that wiggle you can you can really make a lot of the stages trivial. But it can also be an enemy too. The wiggle and the jiggle. Yeah, I'm good at that. I got a lot of practice uh, wiggling it. Yeah, and look, the wiggle, you're doing it right <laughs> now, man. Oh no. no, you were on a good wiggle and run. I wiggle and tug. Yeah. I'm just hanging out back here. Don't mind me. I don't even think I can kill these things. What am I walking through? What, look at me. Oh, because I have a darn and over death's door. You literally are some type of cybernetic warriors that need battery juice to live. Yeah. And that's just another way to scree quarters out of your pocket. Well, no, it's also another way to keep you moving forward without having, like, you know, in Splatterhouse, for example, if you hang back too far, you know, you see the scare yeah, wall yeah. coming to get you. At least this is a little bit more uh, logical. Well, then again, nothing about Splatterhouse is going to be logical. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, we both got some cool weapons. Watch us lose them. I have to bomb them, we might not. But they're putting us in these crazy zany corridors. You know, some bad shit's bound to happen in yeah. these corridors. Ah! You're on, you're on the roll. Yeah. It's so high. Oh, fuck. Shield! Oh, cool. I'm just gonna rip through these assholes. This snake heart's bad from where I'm running. Gaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Say, just let the shells fly away. This is when we really started uh, dying. showing our skill. Oh, dying on. Come on! Oh, now you use a bomb. I, I, you know, if it's far the core of the boss, it's out here. You know what I mean? I say that's fine. But if we're just gonna walk through the level and be like. Nuke, nuke, nuke. That's kind of like not very entertaining to watch. Every time I see you upon it. Well, definitely like 80s and 90s, like pop rock, prog rock, and yeah. some of these tracks. They like, they take it, but they tweak it slightly, yeah. so it won't get sued. Not my power, it's almost gone. Time for me to roll on and eat the grave. Oh, that's energy. Oh, right there! Oh. Uh. <laughs> that's a, just that was worth it for the comedy alone. I I'm gonna die. You're red. You're Sam. What? Inside joke. Remember from Santa Paul? What'd you say? You're Santa. Remember we forgot? I thought, we were you, I thought you said you simp. No. Remember? Remember? Uh, we'll put you in headlock. No. No. Remember in Santa Paul? Yeah. No, no. You forgot when we were doing the dubbing. You forgot which character, who was Santa, where you know. Now I'm getting distracted talking about stupid shit. Alright, 
right. For like five minutes, I was looking at the right character. No, you you look at get the fuck out of here. Yeah, because last last how time you, I know that, but how do you even progress to the I level? I have no idea, dude. It was like divine intervention. What? Because I swear, You're I was like, like Iron Man out of energy. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't go for stuff like sneak on the platforms and watch out for getting sniped here. I just get a no notion. What was that? The platform didn't move with me at that point. Look. Sometimes you gotta like. Yeah, you gotta like nudge yourself on the platform a little bit for it to follow you. Oh. The old nose itch. The forehead itch of the nose. It's a cool level in theory, it's hard. I just don't like getting pot shot while I'm trying to cross these stupid things. I guess that's the idea. No, this part sucked, I remember that. Oh. I mean, what do you... I think I'm gonna cry! No, uh, no. What do you even do? Besides just eat it. Missiles that you can't destroy with firepower, that's a new one. Huh. Usually a missile you can destroy. And they slightly weave too. I like it. Don't eat my fucking quarter. <laughs> Meet you at the bottom for coffee, P. I mean, it's a challenging game. It puts you in a lot of tight little pinch points and the fact that you can't strafe. And a lot of times you got to be super familiar with the level as you advance. All of a sudden, a barrage of bullets will be in your face, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to have uh, foreknowledge like that. You just wander up, you got 12 bullets in your face. There's no reaction time for that. You just have to have known that they were all going to be there. That was preventable, mm -hmm. though. That's me flapping my gums like that's true. No memorization plus no mm. reflexes equal you lose. You lose. You lose power. You fall. All right. Okay. Here we go. Fuck that. A lot of people will say, "Why?" Why do you guys shoot when there's nothing even on the screen? It's in the amateur, amateur hour, you know? You never know when something's going to appear yeah. unless you're totally familiar with the game. So if you're thinking thoughts like that, eat shit. I think other basic thoughts like you have the reflexes of you know. All right, up, let me see the video that you upload. I don't need to upload a video yeah, to prove that I'm better. Yes, you do. Say that and watch North BBH will direct me to one of those videos. 
Son of a bitch. Don't lose focus. It's hopeless, you know what I mean? You have some moments of glory obtained in this game, but it's ultimately hopeless, you know? You're gonna eat it. Oh, yeah. It's inevitable. Unless you've played it a hundred times. Or maybe a hundred and fifty. There's no hold apart. Like, you turn the corner, it just fires at you again. If we're a little bit raw, apologies. We just got finished playing this game, and then uh, the dog ate my homework. You know, it's probably the dog dry hunt my fucking homework. Yeah. <laughs> enough losses, enough death. I don't know, our performance may be. I didn't give enough time to walk through the fuck moving things. along. No, let me vent. I'm vent. Oh, I was hoping for a narrow escape there. Oh, no, man. If you gotta avoid the fire and you're stuck near it, go through the... Shame. All I did was die in that boss. Skull Voyager. Nice. straight at the game center, 48 hours, mm -hmm. just to beat out zone. I won't continue. Some arena? No, some guy in Japan playing this oh. game, you know? Just like a typical day at a game center in Japan. Yeah. How sad. It ain't that good. 
you know, and I mean, I enjoy it, but it's not that good to go through the agony of, I gotta play this game until I want credit. Who is gonna care? He doesn't even want to bother fighting us. Oh, yeah, this is cheap bullshit. Sword Miss. Run from the sword arm, whatever you do! Ah! I don't want this weapon. We did it, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah, boy. Oh, look. It didn't say that last one. It did. All so right. we cleared the game, and it went a loop. And uh, we asked the question last time, what happens after three loops? Someone tells me with these teleplane games, I remember, you know, three loops, you see a different ending. I'm not familiar with it. So if any of you guys in the comments section want to tell us what happens after you beat this game three times in a row, I know I, I want to be flippant and say that I don't care. What part of me is curious. Um, Pete, what do you give this game? I give this game, um, out of 10, 2. No, no, 7.5. I'd say I'm right there with you, uh, whether it was in the past or now. Uh, great art style, fun, magic gameplay. Really torturous, though, unless you played it tons. It's a total plan, you it's gonna be legal. Mm -hmm. Um, still, I feel it was, I love that, and you just die spontaneously from the winner. What, they know from that? Total. Cool. For really hard shooters, this is one of their few top-down like uh, games you got a sprite that's a fighter. Um, yeah, 7.5. Good game, fun game, good music. Uh, too hard a little bit. Yeah. Maybe it would have been nice to have a little energy meter with three hits instead, you know? Yeah. Um, speaking of review numbers, we did recall we neglected to review Game Ground and uh, Ina Gear, give them the numbers. So, Game Ground, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I like that there's more multiple characters, but I put it on par with this game over. No, I'll give that game a seven. Seven. What do you think? Six. Based on? Game Ground. I think it was too slow, too jaggy, like it was too choppy. It was, uh, the characters blended with the background. Oh, no, yeah. It was slow, it was like the card wars. Yeah, yeah. What better than that? What yeah, what better than that? <laughs> It was cool to have multiple characters, but that I didn't carry cool. it through it. I mean, this is a couple years later, this game, and it's a lot more playable and fun, flashy, and interesting. Um, and as far as Dynagear, I thought that was a really solid, fun game. I give it an 8 out of 10. Okay. I'm ready to give it 7.5. Big sprites, a lot of fun, fast action, very colorful. Didn't No slowdown. Still. 7.5? Yep. Well, that concludes this episode. Uh, until next time. Until next time. Adios. See you. Adios.